Xavier out of the blue corner. Brian fighting out of the red. Wow, right away. Nice head kick. Ooh. I thought we were going to see some Derek Lewis action right off the bat. Nice straight. He's long. Those long strikes down the pipe is exactly oh, what he needs. Xavier so composed. Nice right hand. Brian's trying to end oh. this fight here in the first. He's definitely got to work his way inside. Oh. Big shot there by Brian. Nice jab there by Brian Stapleton. Stapleton has really good pressure. And he's doing a great job of cutting. Yeah. The blue corner off. He's not following following him because Xavier? Xavier has great movement. Very great great Beautiful footwork. Beautiful movement. Yeah. Yes, great footwork. Definitely seems like a full mixed martial artist. We're seeing nice strikes by Xavier, kicks, punches. We're seeing the grapple mode now. Definitely one thing I'm seeing of Brian that could be dangerous for him. Brian kind of leans a little bit when he does a couple punches. Definitely sets himself up for a counter. Sternum kick. kicks, man. Those are great. Ooh. They're great to create distance and to just pepper, but you can't throw too many because it, it is, you can get caught. You get caught or your, your kick will get caught. Oof. I love, I love his pressure. Brian has such great pressure. I mean, he's constantly bringing the fight. You know who he fights uh, like a little bit who just got signed? We just mentioned Israel Adesanya. How about he reminds me of Sean Strickland? I was just going to say yes. <laughs> That's exactly who he kind of reminds me hey, of. Hey, great minds think alike, PG. Yeah. All right, round two. Let's see who makes the adjustment Ex here. Exactly. Oh, barely missed. Xavier does his best work when he's long. So he's got to stop the pressure. Because the pressure and that inside work is where he's getting caught the most. Yeah, it reminds me of the fight we saw maybe uh, an hour, hour and a half ago. He's almost kind of backpedaling the whole fight. He has to sooner or later make a stand and say, hey, this is my side of the ring here. We're not, we're not moving back anymore. And the way he does that is just with a one and two, straight down the pipe, stay long, stay long. See, he's allowing him to come in, and that's where he's having the biggest um, controversy, if that's the right word, is see, that long shot is what he needs. And that keeps them at bay. That keeps them where you want them, the long shots. And when you start to go circle and around, you give them opportunities to get inside. Man, Stapleton is just not stop. Ooh, one, ooh. two, one, two. Oh, big overhand right. Oh, another one. A nice body shot. Wow, he's taking a beating at this point. He's 20 not. 20 consecutive punches. He's not punching. He's not protecting himself and defending. He's just eating these shots. That was good. He was able to tie him up. Let's see what he does with this. Nice 
nice back, back take. Beautiful transition. It is, but look, he's going to fall off. Wow, right into Mount. Great job. More punches for Stapleton. Thirty seconds. Stapleton's tired too, though. At this point, now if you put them together a little faster and put a little bit more intentions on him, I think he can get this fight done and over with. But he's tired too. I mean, this, he's been pressing forward and bringing the fight nonstop. Oh, oh, that could be the beginning oh. of the end, and it's over. Wow. Brian Stapleton finishes him in round number two. That was a grueling. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Our referee, Larry Downs Jr., steps in and calls a halt to the bout at 2.38 of round number two. For your winner, by TKO, Brian Stapleton. What a fight. Great pressure.